Hello YouTube and welcome to the Old Church of St Nicholas which is one of the oldest churches in England and sits proud on the top of the northern edge of the Uphill Nature Reserve overlooking Breen Down and the Bay of Western Supermare. When its first foundation stone was being laid it was in a country that had seen much upheaval and was still undergoing great change. Less than 20 years earlier William of Normandy had crossed the English Channel and defeated Harold II at the Battle of Hastings to win the English throne. William's subsequent campaign to control the English landowners and nobility who rebelled against his rule is now referred to as the Norman Conquest and gave rise to his nickname William the Conqueror. As he moved across the country he consolidated his political power with a massive undertaking of castle building and likewise exerted his power over the church by building abbeys, cathedrals, priories and churches all across the land of which our small church on a windy hill near the edge of the Somerset shore is but a tiny part. The old church of St Nicholas was remodelled in the medieval times but many features of the Norman church remain and is still recognisable as being in the Norman style. It has three main parts, a buttress tower topped with a parapet and pinnacles that houses a ring of six bells, a roofless nave in which the congregation would have originally sat and a chancel where the altar would have been and possibly a small choir would have sung. The roof of the nave was removed in 1864 when the roof of the chancel was being renovated having its old Cornish slates replaced with new Cotswold slates. With a second, more conveniently placed church being completed in 1844, the old church has not seen as much use in recent times, but is still able to hold the occasional service in the summer months, thanks to the support of the Church's Conservation Trust. At the western edge of the church's graveyard, the ground falls away to reveal a limestone cliff face, once part of the uphill quarry. The locals mined the limestone here for centuries, initially using the stone for house building, but then later for quicklime, a necessary ingredient in the steel industry, and for fertilizer for farmland. In the 19th century, workers at the mine found evidence of habitation dating back 50,000 years, finding stone tools and bones where water had formed caves in the rock. Some of these artefacts still survive today and can be viewed at Western Museum. But the caves are long gone, destroyed by the gunpowder and sledgehammers of the quarrymen. Nowadays the quarry is a site of special scientific interest as it is home to a rich variety of fauna and flora including the rare Goldilocks aster and calcareous grassland, only found in a few sites in the UK, as well as being a popular crag for rock climbers. Back up on the top of the hill, there's another stone structure that is also worth a visit. Once part of a windmill that dates back to medieval times, Uphill Tower is made from limestone rubble, likely mined from the nearby quarry and when it fell out of use in the late 19th century, it was then converted into an observatory. This truncated circular tower, with its crenellated parapet, is home to the uphill beacon and commands fantastic views over the local landscape, whilst providing a point of interest for kids and big kids at heart to enjoy. The beacon at the top of the tower has been lit every New Year's Eve since the turn of the millennium and a new stainless steel beacon funded by Uphill Village Society replaced the old iron one in 2018 to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the end of World War I. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell for our next videos.